Ellie Cook, it's lovely to be down here at the lovely Kena Beach. It's Yay, awesome. good to be home. <laughs> yeah, your stomping ground, of course. Now, look, um, we seem to catch you at the end of um, these events that you do overseas, and you've just come back from another one, but you've got. We've just had an event in New Zealand, of course, which was the New Zealand Music Awards, where Nelson Group, The Broods, walked away with four uh, TUIs and the best album of yeah. the year. So, um, but you've got some great news yourself. So, tell us a bit about how how well you're doing in Australia. You, you, yeah. That your new album and a single from it. Yeah. Uh, so this week I went to number one on the Australian country charts yeah so um, with Midnight Cowboys my my song over there so that was really exciting and something I didn't anticipate and um, I mean I thought that it would go up but I didn't think it would go from 39 to 1 with a bullet and so I was pretty pretty excited about that so this yeah. is your first number one single in Australia on that it's my first event. number one this is my first number one single full stop <laughs> Um, but yeah, so real excited, real excited, really unexpected and um, it's the second single from the album. There's been a pre-release and one other single and they've both gone on to the top 20 charts. Um, no phone, no mail, no internet went to number five, um, but I've never, yeah, it set a record for the chart as well. So the charts never had any other song go 39 to 1. Okay, mm. so tell us a bit about the number one song. Who play, Who were the players on it? Um, okay, so Nick Brown from the Waratahs, he played fiddle, and Paul Kingery from Three Dog Night, um, who was over here last year with the concerts, he came and played um, some guitar on it. Um, Jim um, from Highway, um, Jim Laurie, Jimmy Laurie from Highway, he played drums, and um, also Brent, Brent Haywood, who was one of the songwriters on the song, he played acoustic guitar, and Graham Brazier, the late Graham Brazier, played harmonica on it. Um, yeah. That's a heck of a lineup, isn't it? It is, and then um, the song co-songwriter on that's Alan Jansen, who um, is the producer and co-wrote one of New Zealand's biggest hits ever, which was How Bizarre. Yeah. Okay. So the album itself, it's it's a great album. Does it get the, the, the actual number one charts, is that from radio plays in, in Australia? Yeah, so the charts actually garnered from about 600 radio stations, both commercial country networks, which we don't have in New Zealand, and um, ABC Channel and um, also all of the community stations. So there are lots of community stations. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, New Zealand, it's a little bit of a different fish, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it is. We've, we've got a situation, I mean, the broods are getting lots of play here, um, Lord, you know, there seems the young, yeah. the young artists that are signed to big labels are, are doing it well, but as an independent, are you struggling with that? Oh, absolutely. No, it comes right down to what's signed to the majors in airplay. That's when, when you get right down to it. I don't think young or indifferent makes any difference. It's just whether, it's just the big corporates. We could, right. we could start on about TPPA right here at this moment, but we, but we won't. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, it's just, you know, it's one of those things, they're corporate. And, and also the other aspect that works against country as a genre is there's no networks here that are commercial networks that are, that are country. So there's just nowhere to, to get your music played here, really. It seems a bit of a shame because we have people like... Um, uh, you know, big art country artists like uh, the girl Swift. Yeah. I, I don't know my country. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and, okay. And, and, and so she's 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 doing it well, and uh, she's getting lots of radio play here, apparently. Yeah. Um, but you know, it seems, and your your music, listening to it, there's some really ethnic-y sounding um, music on there. Uh, the didgeridoo uh, that you've got through yeah. one of your songs is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't call it country, it's more crossover. Yeah. There's, there's songs there that would be quite acceptable on New Zealand radio, but... Oh, absolutely. But, but obviously we, we come back to the few that uh, do the programming here in New Zealand for radio. Yeah, it's down to horses for courses, really, and to the person that's listening to it. Um, in saying that, I've had some airplay on a commercial network here that has a country show once a week, um, but there's no, for example, the video, the new video that's been done by Ken Khan, it's all CGI, it's it's a lovely video, um, which I hope you guys will play. Um, it's 
you know, there's not many places apart from places like mainland television community channels that you can get a music, you can't get a music video played basically anywhere in New Zealand right now. Yeah. There, there are no channels dedicated to it anymore. Um, and so, and especially country music, there's no country music channel like there is in Australia. You've got um, CMC country music channel. So, you know, there's, there's none of that here. So it's really that the genre is not catered for in this country. Mm. Mm. Well, Ali, it seems a real shame, but uh, that's not stopped you in the past, and I'm sure it's not going to no, stop you in the future. No, no, not at all. I just ha it just means I have to leave my beautiful home <laughs> and go to Australia um, more often. You know, um, that's all it means is there's a market for me there, and not really a market for me here. But maybe that'll change. Maybe if I make myself bigger outside of New Zealand, I, I might get played here <laughs> well, and it might be like Taylor Swift where it's actually country music and we all know Taylor's start was in country but the radio stations here like to refer to her as pop right rather than country but okay. the reality of it is is that she came through country music and that she's at the CMA Awards as a country music artist and she crosses over um, so well, yeah. maybe next year we might see you up there at the New Zealand Music Awards oh, you never uh, know. nominated for best album of the year <laughs> But uh, I guess the way people can get in behind Ali is to go to iTunes. Yeah, I mean, downloading the single right now, um, which is the uh, Midnight Cowboys radio mix on iTunes, or getting uh, Horseshoe Radio Hotel the album if you want to do that. That's really helpful. Um, and you can get albums, I know, at the warehouse has them. Yep. Um, and you know, so lots of you know your normal retailers. If you want to get a CD, not that many of us have CDs these days because they don't sort of make computers even that discs go in. But yeah. you know, most people are on the digital, so you just go Google it. Yeah, you'll find it with Mr. Google. Well, Ali Cook, it's been a real pleasure, and I'm sure we'll see and hear more of you as your album gets closer to topping the charts. Yeah, thank you.